Hi, this is Sarah from sarahyip.com, Facebook, The Numbers Queen, and Instagram, sarahyip1111, with my July forecast. I'm very excited about this month. Um, it's the month we've all been waiting for. So everything's moving along very fast. As I said, this would be a quick year versus last year, which was a bit grating. Um, if you enjoyed this forecast, comment below. 555 life or luck. Life has a five energy. We are in a seven universal year, which is about opening our crown chakras. The theme is miracles and mayhem, and I'm sure you're experiencing both right now. July is a 14 month, 14 adds to five. Now, this is a time for balance. It's about balancing your mood, your diet, your budget. So the crown chakra is a lot about believing in the greater good, the greater God, um, our spirit self. This is a year where basically nothing else works except prayer, reaching out and really sharing your wisdom and creating that exchange with others because we're in a world now where we can't just pretend that we can do it on our own anymore. As I've been saying to my clients, we have to share firewood to keep warm. So what's the fifth chakra about? Well, obviously, this is the throat. This is our connection point between our head and our heart or body. Um, it's also, of course, the home of our voice. Um, and this is also the thyroid. So this chakra is about filtering what is fake versus what is real, what is really good for us versus what is draining for us. So my tip for this month is what's free is not always cheap. <laughs> Look behind the marketing. Love gives us choices and fear gives us lectures and hard sells. So avoid those who spruik one path to heaven or one path to success because these people rarely walk their talk. Now, 14 is a karmic number in numerology. You can look that up on my blog. This is about emotional extremes. So one is a lot about free will, four is about the heart. So it's about this kind of uh, wise use of our love and passion. It's a number about addictions um, and it really invites us uh, to treat ourselves as well as we treat others and vice versa. So with every one of our actions, you know, we really can uh, heal or hurt ourselves and <clears throat> it's not always easy to see what we're doing. I mean, I think one of the reasons I enjoy being a parent, apart from the cuddles and kisses and all that, your kids are really at a level where they can see what's going on in your heart more than you can. They are literally more down to earth. Um, and I find that feedback so fascinating and such a great inspiration to continue evolving. So keep people around you who can spot you, who are really looking here instead of here, because like I said, it's just very easy to forget. Right now, it's important to embrace your lessons at Earth School. It's interesting, Earth has the same ingredients as heart. Um, if you run away from your lessons this month, it will only double the trouble. I would recommend turning around and uh, facing your fears with support. If you want to find out more about your life path and your purpose, your um, strengths and your opportunities, you can always do that at seriup.com under Find Your Life Path. I've got some really interesting articles there, I've got a calculator, I've got lots of famous people profiles and videos. It's an amazing resource site, we call it The Labyrinth, and I try to warn people when you go to my website, um, pack a picnic lunch, you'll be there a while. So right now, be sure to study the world changes, not just the world dangers. I know it's very tempting to jump down the rabbit hole, but uh, the rabbits actually are no longer there either. Um, sometimes it's just a hole. And so, you know, the warning signs are that, um, I guess, how do we put this? You know, you feel tired after you go down that road of thinking or research. Um, really what you want to be doing is you want to be feeling elevated. You want to be feeling inspired. You want to be feeling like you can do it after interactions, be it with an article, a person, you know, things like that. So the future is in our hands, literally, I say that as a palm reader, and I don't believe it's all over. I feel like if we look at the quality of the children coming to earth and, um, you know, if we really 
make a point, like I said, to seek out those who are still creating miracles. Uh, we will be able to find the energy to keep going. Now, the picture for this month is the dandelion because my two-year-old Ziggy keeps finding them and blowing them. And I think it's very sweet because he's my wish come true. And I feel very confident, um, you know, being his mother because he's a pure nine. And I've just realized, you know, all this study I've done with my numerology, psychic development, it's really come to this. And it's just so satisfying to be able to use this type of tools on a daily basis to stay connected with, with my family and my loved ones. Actually, I just recorded a talk on the new children on last Thursday, which you can access under why your child chose you on my site. So back to this 14.5 energies, um, you know, so when you use this uh, positively, you can shine your light into the world. It's very good for media and publicity. And you'll see I'm going to do an article on uh, Lewis Capaldi soon. Um, he's experiencing probably more the flip side of his 14.5 name, which is that burnout. And I'll discuss that. He's a uh, master 33 six life path as well. So highly sensitive. Um, we should talk about the tarot. Well, uh, the cards for this year, um, what have we got? So we've got the chariot, which is, of course, uh, riding high in the face of those obstacles, staying on your horse when everyone else is um, jumping off theirs. We've also got the tower, which is not the primary card for this year, but certainly has been an appearing in a lot of my forecasts. And this is about getting out of your head back into reality. And it is actually safer down there um, on the grass where you can be grounded and you can be um, accessed by those who, who love you, as I mentioned. So that's the flavour of this year. And then the flavour of this month. So it's the temperance card, which we know is also about moderation, for example, with alcohol and our behaviours. And you can see this beautiful card of balance with the dancer. And you could say, you know, there's an echo of this other card, the five, the hierophant, which some people also see as the Pope. I see it as the tree of life. And in the end, it's really about what do we aspire to? Who do we see as our, um, our greatest teacher? And so I really encourage people to look up to themselves, to their higher selves, to their soul, um, and that's part of the work that I do. And, yeah, of course it's okay to look up to others as well, but allow people to look up to you so there's that sense of flow and exchange. Remember I said this is this, this year of sort of teaching and learning again, sharing firewood. So what else shall we talk about in this brief forecast? Okay, so who's in the spotlight? Well, the whole year it's all about the sevens and they're certainly coming in droves for readings and classes. Um, but also if you see 777 seven, seven, or you know you have a lot of sevens in your numerology, yeah, for sure, this is a big year for you, an important one. And I'm even getting some eights come in because they are very organised and they're wanting to prepare for next year. So in July there's this additional spotlight on those with five life paths or five numerology or those who see 555, five, five, 14, 14, that kind of thing. And these people are really furthering what began in the last five universal months, which was August 2022. What else? So uh, we are on the full moon at the moment, 3rd of July, time to bring everything to a head, bring them out into the light. Um, it's a restless time, especially if you've got kids or you're sensitive, of course, with the moon out. This is when we used to go out and um, meet each other. And uh, so it's not always a time for rest, um, but that is coming. So then we have the new moon on the 17th or 18th of July. We have Venus going retrograde on the 22nd of July. Now, I'm not so much an astrologer, but I do find this an important uh, situation because it is a lot about being patient uh, with your partner, and that's definitely a highlight in the numerology as well. Remember, your partner is a reflection of you. If you've got a little, lot of inner conflict, you will attract a lot of outer conflict. Um, it's always good to use prayers like um, the one I use is Dear Spirit, please show me the lesson so I can integrate it and move on. And I have a detox relationship to meditation I listen to. Um, I have listen to it a thousand times actually before readings just to make sure I'm clear before I go accusing other people of being fuzzy. If you'd like to connect with me, here's some opportunities. So I'm running a call in a few days on the 7th of the 7th, really cool date. 
Um, it's a bonus call for anyone who's bought my 2023 forecast, and I'll just be going through how the year has turned out, answering questions, probably do some mini numerology readings. It's going to be awesome, and it is free if you buy my forecast, which is half price. I've got my lovely uh, colleague, Linda Thackeray from the Face and Body Interpreter, coming up on the 12th and 13th of July. Highly recommend her. She's helped me so much. She's a life path for heart healer. Um, she moved from the corporate world into this uh, esoteric realm. Uh, she now uh, has uh, studied and teaches through the Psychosomatic College with Marie Muller, who um, helped to found it with Herman Muller, uh, her husband. And so Linda will be doing face readings and giving a talk uh, from my office. There's still some spots available. And I can tell you, I definitely had a massive issue with my face for a long time. Most of my childhood, I was the only Asian and I'm certainly the only six foot Asian around with the big laugh. Um, but yeah, after having sessions with Linda, I finally made peace with my appearance and it's really helped my business. And it's really helped my relationships because I've finally given myself, um, I guess, the, um, the wholeness that I've been looking for in, from others. Apart from that, I've got a light language workshop coming up in my Patreon on the 29th of July. This is the first time I'm going there and with the beautiful Melissa Joss from the Gold Coast from my shop. She's a 2911 like me, so expect fireworks in the best possible way. Again, if you enjoyed this forecast, please put 555 life at the bottom and I'll send you some love. A couple of other tips for this month. If your love life is struggling with all the different things going on, just remember to go boost your love of life, your passion, your energy, your health, because it does take energy to connect. Last thing, please wish us luck. I'm about to launch round two of my 1111 World Changes program. This is my absolute love. I'm so happy about this. It's my spiritual business program to help uh, sensitive women come into the spotlight, receive their dues, and I help them using numerology, energy protection techniques, so all the secret squirrel stuff. So wish us luck. We're taking off 6th of July. I'll have another round opening next year, and I'm just really grateful to everyone who applied and who's supporting my projects because, as I always say, it takes a constellation to raise a star seed. So thank you so much. This has been Sarah from Sarah Yip with your July 2023 forecast. I just wish you all the best. You can do it. Like I said, study the world changes, not the world dangers right now. And good things will come next. I'll see you next time. Bye.